Currently, I think when it comes to impact that AI has made, um, we're doing a lot when it comes to uh, deviation detection and progress tracking. We're able to use softwares or platforms like Construct N, where we walk around the project sites um, and you know use a 360 camera, walk the site, and we're able to track the progress of construction. And then with that, we could go ahead and automate the, the progress and tie that in with the schedule. The other thing we're able to do is something called deviation detection. So essentially we could compare the model with what has been installed and report out that, uh, that information. In the future, I think AI is gonna have a big impact when it comes to MEPF routing. Mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection, it takes a lot of time, it's a lot of effort in coordinating all that stuff. But with AI, what I think it, it's heading in the future is automating a lot of that routing. It's gonna find the best possible route so that we have the best possible design to get that stuff installed in the field. I think AI in the construction industry um, has the potential to do a lot to prevent injuries. Right now we're seeing it, you know, on job sites around the country being deployed where it's filming people as they're walking around the sites and identifying potentially unsafe actions, maybe someone walking underneath a suspended load, maybe not wearing their personal protective equipment, and it's sending alerts to people out on the job site so we can actually see what's going on in the project and take action to uh, rectify the problems. I think what we're going to see in the future is it's gonna make us even safer. We can analyze millions of rows of data that we're already collecting. Things like how many hours we're working on the job, uh, the trade partners we've got, uh, what scopes of work are being conducted, are we behind schedule, are we ahead of schedule, and if we've got indicators that saying that you know conditions are right for an accident, we would be able to then be proactive and go take additional steps on the job site. AI would allow us to get ahead of accidents by seeing things that a normal person wouldn't be able to see um, just by looking at all that data. I think AI will create a lot of efficiencies in what we do, things that are mundane, redundant, things that I think the human spends too much time, you know, that doesn't provide a lot of value. But the reality is today, AI is not going to replace the human, right? It's, you still need the human to make those decisions based off the best information it can get. And that's what AI is giving us today, is those insights and giving us better information, allowing our people to make those decisions in the field faster better. Right? Generative AI with robotics is amazing. I mean, I think at some point, you know, we can have a robotic dog on the job site that not only can perform a task at night, alleviating three humans, right? So giving better quality of life, but then the AI and the machine is able to start doing things that are more predictive. And uh, instead of just reacting to a human's needs, it can go start and look at conditions in the field. It can sniff out environments, understanding if there's poor gases or or bad air, things like that, that I think as the machine gets more progressive and with generative AI, um, I think as a human, we can definitely benefit in all those things. My biggest concern with AI is that it has the potential to make safety not personal. Where I think it's really important for us to keep in mind that we need to keep safety personal. You know, we need to make sure we're having conversations with people so they understand that we really do care about them and we're not just utilizing technology uh, to keep our workplace safe. At the end of the day, we got to remember we're builders first. Our biggest asset are our people, and so it's important for them to continue to feel valued.